Good morning and welcome to the YouTube channel. I said, I think it was at the start of this year that I was going to start to get out videos around races and so on, but it never happened for some reason. I don't know why, I think I just, so much going on, such a busy year. But yeah, the plan is to try and get the video out every so often, really kind of giving you an insight into gravel racing, working full time, training pretty much full time. And yeah, a little bit about what I get up to. So, it's Sunday. I'm actually heading out to Wales today. I'm based in Bristol, so it's not too far. It's about an hour to get over across the border. Um, yeah, I've got four hours on the clock today. So, just taking it fairly easy zone two, getting in that base mileage, just kind of really building up a good bit of endurance for next year. Riding solo today, got no friends. <laughs> now I'm joking, uh, I actually prefer riding on my own. I just like that time to think and yeah, really you can, I don't know, I just, I just prefer being able to go at my own pace if I want to, go hard if I want to, not have to kind of you know, worry about stopping and starting and stuff and it's just easy, especially when I'm quite strapped for time a lot of the a lot of these days, so it's I just prefer to get out, get it done and then I can get back and enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, these videos aren't really gonna be clean cut or polished. They're gonna be very raw and honest. Um and yeah, I I'm looking to do like a bit of a wrap-up video in the next few weeks of this year and how it all went for me what I learnt, um, what went well, what didn't go so well. And yeah, I've got a pretty exciting 2024. A few big races out in the US, big calendar out in Europe. Next weekend, I'm gonna go and see my coach, Jason from PDQ, who I've worked with for coming up to five years now. So we're going to pick his brains, see what he think I could have done better and really get an insight into, into training for, for these big endurance gravel events. So, almost at the bridge over into Wales now. Looking forward to getting out there actually. It's always quite busy getting from Bristol over to Wales, busy A road, so yeah, just looking to get over there now. Enjoy the uh, nice country roads. Just stop for a quick piss break and before I take a few moments to run you through my, my winter bike. It's not my winter bike, sorry to teach you. Um, it's just the only bike that's the only road bike that's working right now. <laughs> Titichi's race bike. However, it is actually still pretty comfortable for kind of everyday endurance. It's super light, really nice and stiff and handles like an absolute weapon. Got the Hunt wheels on there paired to the Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, 30 mil. Yeah, and these are the tires that I set up for the National Crit Series this year. Uh, a lot of the courses <coughs> in the series are quite quite technical there's a load of cobbles and stuff on some of the races so yeah going a bit wider uh, was a bit more comfortable and just gave me that extra bit of confidence going into the corners Forge race on here di2 i've got a pro logo saddle with a bit of a cutout uh wahoo roam on there uh, and then i've got two bottles from sturker electrolytes in this one carbs in this one when I'm base training like this, I just take uh, a little bit of carbs in the bottle, some electrolytes. Uh, I just light them in the morning just to kind of fully, fully hydrate myself and get those vital minerals in the system. Yeah, and then I might take like a little bar or a gel depending on what sort of session I've got. But yeah, usually not. I don't I try to take too, too, too much on board really. Uh, if I, you know, if I need some food, I'll just stop somewhere and then grow something from a garage. That's the setup. Just about to cross the border over to Wells. So let's go have a little look. Always feels good crossing this bridge. It's looking a little bit moody and spooky today. Yep, flat tire. Um, I knew it was coming. I rode over some fawns and I thought, oh no. It's not been a great weekend so far. Yesterday, my shifter battery ran out on the gravel bike. 
So I was stuck in the highest gear. Uh, it took me a while to find a supermarket that had the right batteries. And now today, you've got a flat tire. Oh well, part of the fun. Well, that is me absolutely screwed. For some reason, my little CO2 head has decided to stop working. Um, I've used all my canisters trying to trying to inflate the tire. So, stuck in the middle of Wales. Um, just need to hope a rider comes by. I did see one before I had the flat, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, a little bit screwed. Um, damn it. What an absolute nightmare that was. I was on the side of the road for about half an hour until I managed to flag down three locals. I had a spare tube, but the valve was slightly too short. We managed to make it work anyway and get a little bit of air in. So I bobbed down because the tire was on that seat. I was like bubble, blah, 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 all over the place. So yeah, I stopped at the Tintern Cafe. It's a little bike cafe thing. Um, they, they had a pump there, so I managed to get some more air into it. Yeah, but I couldn't get a spare tube there or a pump or anything. So decided to call it a day and ride back to Bristol because I don't really want to risk getting another flat tire out here and not, you know, being stuffed. So yeah, a bit of a shame to cut the ride early, but it is what it is. All good, bad rides end with coffee. We got this machine a little few weeks ago and I've been absolutely digging it, having too many coffees. Time to have a quick shower, get some food and crack on with the day. So good. To give you an idea of what the valve looks like in the wheel. Look at that. Right, all showered up. I'm ready to hit the supermarket, get some food, and then hit the gym later on. Massive thanks for watching this if you got this far. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to making some some decent content around the race season next year. So Keep your eyes peeled and I'll see you in the next one.